What you're seeing right now is basically the robot in the sitting configuration. So what's happening is that the robot has two possible ways of interacting with the world. He can be sitting down, and then he can drive around and then interact with the world in a statically stable. So that we don't have to worry about balance, we don't have to worry about anything, and he's able to shake hands and do whatever we want. Um, the idea is to, first of all, we're going to add a second arm so he can grab things, um, but also he's able to interact dynamically. And that's the second part of this, and the most important part of this robot, is that he can actually stand up and then be able to do things that human beings can do, like grab things and move mm -hmm. them forcefully, right? Okay. So that's what the sensor is going to show you now. So now he just transitioned on his own from, from statically stable to dynamically stable. Okay. Right? And what dynamically stable means is that it's actually quite stable standing, right? Now you think that it's actually supported by something, but it's not. I mean, these are wheels, <laughs> right? So this is kind of like a segue. The difference between this and a segue is, is he has this articulated joint and articulation here. And he can move all these joints and still be able to maintain this dynamic balance, okay. right? So that's the exciting thing about the robot, that he can actually use his whole body now to actually interact with the world, okay? So essentially, you want, we can go up and down, Okay, we can stand up. He stands well, whatever. Stands to about human height. Okay, so mm -hmm. the idea was actually my height. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, he's standing to about human height. He's able to still be stable at that height and interact with things. Uh, he can go down. Okay, and whatever he is, so this is the important thing to note here. Wherever he is, the arms are actually right out front, so he has the full workspace throughout the range of motion. Right? So he can grab tables, grab you know, furniture, whatever he wants, and interact with it. Why does it have to be tied to the ceiling? It's a safety measure. Okay. Uh, there's, uh, there's no uh, power cables or anything already. Or anything. Yeah, this is just a problem. So, it's okay. a measure of, you know, as we're doing development and testing, it's good to protect students and such. <laughs> and the safety reason is why we can't actually take it to the studio. Yes. So the idea is to really have it contain the space. I mean, if you want to show them a picture of what's going on, there's that thing that's actually protecting it from falling over right now on, a, on top of anybody. And we also have the steel guardrail here so that, you know, people don't accidentally roam into the area. So right, right there, there's actually that steel <laughs> down there. <laughs> so people don't roam into this area. 